Hello everyone and welcome back to Art Doctor Quickies where we take an in-depth yet brief look at one work of art and today it's Johannes Vermeer's Milkmaid from 1658. Images like this which are called genre scenes which means scenes of everyday life don't need a lot of explanation to be understood. We see a woman in rather colorful dress pouring milk from a jug into a bowl. Beside the bowl on the table there's loaves of bread and pieces of bread already torn up, ready to make bread pudding. And the custard for that pudding is in the jug next to the bowl. The woman is a domestic servant, as the title suggests, though she's not a milkmaid per se. She doesn't milk the cows. She works inside the home. She's working in a kitchen, though not one we would recognize today. The walls are bare and sparse, with a few things hanging off them, we can see a basket and below it perhaps a lantern. The pale wall behind her is full of nails and nail holes, which shows how storage was done in this kitchen. At the bottom of the wall, just along the floor, you can see a row of tiles. These tiles, called Delft tiles, were all the rage in the Netherlands and are still quite famous and collectible today. The one to the left of the little box shows Cupid and the one to the right shows a shepherd holding a staff. The little wooden box on the floor is actually a foot warmer, which were everywhere and very practical in these drafty houses, and also practical in that it was a mini ice age, so you'll never see people in Dutch 17th century painting wearing shorts. The foot warmer worked by putting hot coals into a terracotta pot, and then you put that pot into the wooden frame, and then the heat would kind of rise out the top. You could put your feet on it, or even better, stand over it and have all that lovely heat rise up your skirts. So now let's take a look at the milkmaid herself. She's got these beautiful bright colors on, her blue apron, those green work sleeves, and even that gorgeous yellow bodice with the orange stitching. It was not for nothing that the Dutch economy was booming at this time. They were traders and they traded everything, including gorgeous textiles from abroad. Vermeer made good use of the beautiful blues, greens, and mustards that he found to help balance the composition and center the viewer's eye on the milkmaid and her diligent work. But now, let's look at the woman's face. She's looking down. It's kind of hard to see her eyes. She's concentrating on what she's doing. Overall, she looks pretty calm and engaged in her task. And that is what Vermeer is going to help us do today, to calm down. And it was his specialty, because every painting he made had a calmness that came from light and subject. In fact, Vermeer always placed his light source in the same place for his indoor domestic scenes, at the top left-hand side of the painting. Here we've got a lovely window, diffused kind of cloudy day light, is coming in, hitting the face of the woman, hitting her clothes, creating shadows in the corners and light on the walls in a way that is so familiar to all of us who have ever contemplated our own homes on a cloudy afternoon. And just as the light isn't dramatic, neither is the subject. Here is a person, an ordinary person, going about an ordinary daily task. And though there are many legitimate and some fanciful interpretations of what's going on here. Really, it's the everydayness of it that is the point. The serene contemplation on the milkmaid's face is incredibly calming. It's normal, it's everyday, and yet put in this beautiful light, this also ordinary light, it becomes special. We're reminded that our small moments, those little insignificant tasks, have a little spark of divinity, a little bit of art. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little moment of quiet with Vermeer. As always, I have links to this painting and other information in the description box, and I'd encourage you to go have a look at it yourself. In the meantime, take care of yourself, and I hope you find some calm in the middle of this chaotic time. Take a deep breath. You got this. I'll see you next time.